This is one of our electric drum mixers. Basically the drum is lifted onto the base plate, we lock it in position and then we can start rotating the drum. Now what I'll show you is this is our side shifter palletizer. So we'll simulate taking a drum off a pallet and loading it into the mixing unit. First thing we need to do is open both gates and we do this by operating this toggle here. We pull this out and then we slide the bolt back, open the gate, now you can see the mixing head here, this is where the drum will be loaded onto and then we have this beam that locks the drum down. So let's, let's get the drum first. This is a side shifter palletizer, so we have hydraulic lift, we can lift the drum. If we pull on this yellow handle here, we can slide the drum from left to right. To load the mixer, it's easier if we have this on the left hand side. And we push it forward. Once it's located, all the way into the head, we pull on this lever here which lowers the drum down, then we release the top catch, the drums now loaded on the base plate, first thing we need to do is grab our top clamp beam. So we lift this down. This can be stored on the left hand or the right hand hook. So you just lift this down. You have two handles on the top. We can hold it by and then we place this right across the middle of the drum. So it's sitting on top of the drum. Then we have these toggle clamps here and you bring this up Do the left one, then hold that in the vertical and just screw that down. Don't tighten one all the way, just spin it up so it just touches the top and hold the other one in the vertical so that just touches the top. There should be no gap underneath the beam and then tighten them both equally at the same time. Again, check there's no gaps under the beam, and that's it, it's ready to go. Next task will be to close the gates and we'll start the mix program. Close the left gate first, then the right gate, pull the release toggle and lock the gate. Okay, so our drum's now mixed, we've done our 30 minute mix, um, we're ready to take the drum out. So first thing is pull this one forward, this is the lock, this one here stops the bolt being drawn back. So we pull that, slide it open, undo our top clamp bolts. Take our top beam off and again hang it on the hook here out of the way. Ready to get our depalletizer now and lift the drum out.
We're now looking at the control panel. So obviously it needs plugging into mains power. And then we have our mains isolation there. Switch this on. This powers up the unit. First thing you should note is the emergency stop switch. If you want to stop any function in an emergency, press the switch down. You'll notice the disable light comes on and none of the functions will work and all rotation will stop. To reset this, we just turn it and it pops up. The disable light has now gone out. So the system is now active. We have interlock switches on the gate, so the unit will not run with the gates open. You have to close the gates to make the, make the rotation. So just down from the emergency stop, we have the rotation speed control. So we can turn this down or we can turn it up to increase rotation speed. Then we have our stop and start buttons. We also have a timer on here. So this timer panel allows us to time how long the mix cycle is going to be. So we've got some time already set on there and we'll do a close up of the panel next so we can show you all the, all the features of the timer. So we're ready to go, we'll press start. The drum's mixing away there. We want it to mix faster, just increase the rotation speed. Then to slow down the rotation. If we press stop. Now, if we wanted to take the drum out, so if it had timed out or we press stop and we wanted the drum in the vertical, because it needs to be in the vertical to take out with a, with a depalletizer, we press this docking button. If we press the docking button, the unit will rotate until it gets to the vertical orientation. Now in the vertical, so we could open the gates now and remove the drum. We're now looking at a close-up of the top control panel. Again, here we can see the emergency stop, press, in the event of emergency this will stop all function. This is our docking light, so if we press docking this will rotate till the 12 o'clock position and the light will illuminate. We have our speed control have our stop and start. On this side we have the disable light, so if you open the gate the disable light will be illuminated. And here is our mixed timer. Now to set the timer you have a set button, press now. You see the display is now flashing. So if we increase by just pressing up on the arrow to 4 and press set again that has locked it now to mix for four minutes. If we press set again, it's flashing. Just keep increasing the time. That's now 30 minutes, but we must press set to lock the time. So that will now mix for 30 minutes. So if we move back along here, so the gates are closed, mains power is on, press start. And again, we can select our speed. This will now continually mix for the next 30 minutes. It's a countdown timer, so as the minutes tick by, the time will reduce until it gets to zero, when it will automatically stop. I'm going to stop this now myself by pressing stop, and then if we want to take the drum out, press the dock button. The unit now is going back to the vertical position. Stopped. There we go. I'm going to open a gate now and you'll see the disable light come on. So a gate is now open, so the system will not work now. So even if I press start or dock, the system won't work.
I've now closed the gate, disable light has gone out, press start.